Aussie Griffin, I've wasted about, what, 20 minutes now? Yeah, about 20 minutes, give or take, trying to do this video. Bad cop, good to see you back in rare form, man. Uh, I've got to tell you, what do you expect from gaming companies whose philosophy is clearly, clearly guided by anarcho-capitalist philosophy? Because I'll tell you, capitalism, and I happen to agree with Pyotr Kropotkin on this one, uh, the prince knew it that in Russia he'd seen capitalism. Capitalism, in his opinion, always turns into corporatism where it melds with the state. And corporatism, from what I've seen, uh, especially in documentaries like The Take, uh, yes, so I'm a bit of a lefty, not as much as you might think, though. Uh, in a lot of cases, will turn into predatory capitalism backed by the state. I'm sorry, it's true. It's all about dependency, and it's all about, uh, what's the other word? Addiction, if you can get away with it. Where you can't help yourself, except that you need, uh, you, you will need, you don't want it, you need their services to stay in one piece. And really, it's just a slightly different look on extortion. You don't pay the middleman, Windows Live, pfft, you're going down. You don't pay uh, the, you know, the premium price for the game, you're going down. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tack a video down in the description box. I want you to see just what the title is. <coughs> just what the title is. You're watching the mystery video. And you'll see the mindset that's doing it. And when you figure out what's morally wrong with what they're talking about as a premise, you'll see why they're doing this. And if and, and here's something a little more stark, all right? Here's, here's something a little, a bit of a slap in the face, however, it's a wake-up slap. Let's compare what we've had. In the early 90s, when Monkey Island was released, you got the game. You could hack it if you wanted to. It was your copy. And who you played it with, and how many people looked over your shoulder and said, man, that game is fun, wish I could afford it. Well, you can play with me, sweet. That was your business. Your business. I say again, your business. Now look at what we've got. We've got much better technology, we've got cloud computing, which is cool. <coughs> However, you have to be online, and if you're using up bandwidth to do so, there's no mercy for you. You have to be online, to play the game at all. At all. At all. No, just upload it onto your system and play it as much as you like. It's your copy now. Hack whatever's on your computer. No, we can't do that anymore. Can't even use... I still can't believe Blizzard said they can't. you can't use cheat codes in a single player game. You're not ruining anyone else's experience. Anyway, that's nanny... That's corporate nanny state. People always say, Oh, narco-capitalism wouldn't do that. Yeah, right. Watch the mystery video. Anyway... And you're not buying the game, you're renting it. And if you don't conform to the rules of a myriad of corporations, and those terms of, you know, usage agreements, whoever reads those? You're not supposed to. That's why they're light, dry, long, boring, and there's usually clauses in there for all kinds of crap. So basically, we've gone from owning something and being able to enjoy it, and if you had the extra skills to hack it, you can enjoy it extra ways, to being in a situation where you're afraid to play outside the lines. I mean, come on. You know, I'm actually going to make a prediction in this video. Here's my prediction, okay? The biggest, like, the most popular game in the next 20 years, even, is going to be a game where you can spontaneously make up the rules of gameplay and redesigning the game world, kind of like with Little Big Planet, is going to be as easy, like, it's going to be really accessible. So, like, if you want to create, you know, your own fantasy land around you, I'm not just talking, like, a small area. I'm talking about your kingdom, your rules, and people get, like, people coming through their areas and rating them as to who's got the, you know, which is the most fun. That game... You know, with you creating your own mini-games in there. 
possibly even getting bitcoins or like uh, real bank account money or discounts or you know credit uh, of some sort against your subscription fees to the various things that game that game is going to be phenomenally popular because it's going to put the gamers in control again and it's going to let the creative people come up with the good ideas <coughs> and here's my second prediction that game is probably never going to happen because uh, it would take too much money, supposedly, away from people uh, in the gaming industry. So yeah, a bit of an insight, watch the mystery video, uh, and you're going to see what mindset created the current situation we're in, and why it is going to continue to suck, and going to suck harder. Predatory capitalism. Pyotr Kropotkin was right. Talking to Wallman.